How's it going, haters? I know a lot of you probably already know this, but I've been working for Jeremy for a little over two years now, and one of the things that I've had to get pretty good at is making YouTube thumbnails. So I thought it'd be fun to go back through all the thumbnails that I've made for Jeremy and review them and see what I would change about any of the older ones, what I like about some of them, what I don't like, maybe even redo a couple of them and let Jeremy update them on his channel, see if it improved performance at all. I think it would be interesting to see if updating an old video with a new thumbnail would get more views and maybe even people would re-watch it because they liked it the first time. Who knows? So without further ado, grab some coffee or some BioSteel and let's review some YouTube thumbnails. Head on over to YouTube, Coach Jeremy. There are two main things that you want to accomplish with every thumbnail, or at least that Jeremy and I try to accomplish, and that's one, introduce the characters. And characters can be like us, uh, Mason, or things like a hockey stick or a certain puck that we're testing, whatever the focus of the video is, it should show that in the thumbnail. And obviously you want a thumbnail to grab attention. So that's, that should probably be number one. So number one, grab attention. Number two, introduce the characters. And number three, which is often overlooked, you want to give the viewer a clear idea what the video is gonna be about. Just from a quick glance at a thumbnail, they should know immediately what they're gonna be getting from this video. So without further ado, let's go look through all of the old thumbnails that I've made for Jeremy and maybe we'll redo a couple of them. Let's go. All right, so uh, latest video was the lake rink and I like this thumbnail. This was a lot of fun making this video, by the way. We head out to a lake, just drove out in the middle of it with Santa Cruz, made a rink. It was really small, but the experience, the experience was great. So the lake rink, I like this one. I just made this thumbnail, so to me it's perfect, but maybe a year from now I'll look at it and be like, oh, I should have done this, this, and this. But I like that it shows he's grabbing the bucket. You can see that he's pulling it out of the lake, gonna throw it onto what we've already cleared off or whatever. So it's very clear you drill a hole, grab a bucket, and flood it. And that's the essence that we wanted to convey from this thumbnail, so Thumbs up from that one. Uh, next up, the making a 3D goalie, Hilbert. Hilbert 2.0, because we did make him uh, during the first lockdown here in Canada, but he was way too heavy. This thumbnail though, I have to say it, it's got a lot going on. What is going on here? Looking at it in like in hindsight, I might not have included the spray can here just because it's, it's not really clear what it is and you can't really tell that he's spraying in the spray foam into a duster. In hindsight, I might have just taken Jeremy holding the goalie, Hilbert, upside down and used that as the thumbnail because it would be, it introduced the character, it introduced a bit of playfulness. A bit of playfulness. And there's not as much uh, busyness going on. Maybe that's a candidate to redo because you can see it's only got 36,000 views, which is behind the lake rink, which is already at 46 and it's had an extra eight days to get views. So maybe we should redo that one. You know what? I'm gonna redo that one right now. Let's, let's open up Lightroom, Photoshop and get to it. So here's a quick run through of the steps that I follow to make a good thumbnail. First thing I wanna do is pull it into Lightroom so that I can adjust the lighting. You can see this shot here is really dim could use a bit of an exposure bump and maybe crank up the whites a bit add a bit more saturation so i'm going to do that really quick before we pull it into photoshop to add text and everything put up the exposure adjust the curves a little bit right about there drop the blacks increase the shadows we want to bring out the detail and duster here maybe not quite that much just a bit increase the vibrance a bit a little bit of saturation bump Okay, that's looking good. A nice feature that Lightroom added a couple of months ago is this select subject mask feature. So if I click that, hopefully it should highlight Jeremy and Duster, which it did. You can see he's highlighted in red perfectly. Look at that. Ow. Would you look at that? Yeah, that's, that's just magic. Like, the car, the car. oh my gosh, the just car, look at it. Before I'd have to go and paint that out myself, but this is great. So now that I have him, I can boost the shadows way up, maybe not way up, but like right around there, bring out the detail of Duster, the detail of Jeremy's jacket, and I can even bump up the saturation a little bit more to make Jeremy's coat really pop. Basically thumbnails is not like traditional photos. You're just trying to grab attention. Take what's ours. And make it clear what's happening. It doesn't need to necessarily be perfectly color graded. Now I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'm gonna duplicate this mask and then I'm gonna invert it. And then I'm going to bring down everything, bring down the exposure a bit, and you can see how the background starts to darken a little bit. Not too much, just subtle. And that really makes Jeremy and Duster pop from the background. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna import this into Photoshop and let's add some text. I'm thinking something like the 
lightest goalie ever. Bail that down. Maybe I'll take out the, put it on one line. Add Jeremy's signature black stroke and yellow stroke to it. Boom, boom. Think that looks pretty good. Hide this. I'm gonna select Jeremy. So this is the quick selection tool. Okay, so I got Duster and I got Jeremy. Oh, almost missed a little spot there. Layer via copy. Jer plus Duster. And I'm gonna bring that above and then bring this down a little bit. So I'm liking the way this is looking. I'm gonna increase the stroke of the black a little bit because when you zoom it out, it's doesn't stand out quite enough. I think I'll bring it up to about 15. And then I'm gonna increase the yellow as well. Bring that up to about 30, maybe 32, maybe 35, why not? Now that I have Jer and Duster selected, I'm also gonna give him a bit of an outline to make him pop even more. Now you can do this with a stroke and make it white, which I've done in the past, and I'll probably get to a couple of uh, thumbnails that do that. But for this one, I'm gonna do an outer glow. Now I need to find that photo of the spray foam can. I like that. What do you guys think? This is the original thumbnail on the right. Here is the new one. I don't know what I'm looking at it. I feel like I'm more inclined that I would click on the new one, but I did again, just make that. So let me know what you guys think. Old thumbnail, new thumbnail, which you more likely to click on. And collect the rays from Jeremy when this video gets a million views. <laughs> All right, next up, let's go back to Jeremy's channel. Okay, next video, winter birthday. This was this was a pretty cool video. This was like the height of the skating trail this year. And I like this thumbnail. I think it does a great job. It shows Mason and Jeremy on the left here. It shows his birthday cake, so you know it's a birthday right Im immediately. It's got the Canadian flag, which Jeremy and I like to do every now and then to kind of play on the Canadianness of us because I know that some people in the States find us entertaining. I don't know, I, I, I'm just making that up maybe. We'll see. So yeah, not too much I would change from that thumbnail. It's good. We got buried in snow, skating trail episode four. We got dumped on. <laughs> um, I like this one. We actually took a photo of Jeremy in this red coat outside after the fact. I just took my phone and got it. We threw some snow at him to kind of blend it in. I thought it made more sense to show an up close reaction, but it definitely introduced the characters. No complaints there. Next up, finishing the trail with this. We slept outside in negative 25 and it was worth it. This video was a lot of fun to make. Uh, it was a bit cold. We stayed out all night flooding the trail using this flame bony and the torches. The only thing with this video that we had a hard time with the thumbnails for were finding a good thumbnail during the daytime even though we spent all night doing it. So I, I like this thumbnail because it shows the flames and like what the heck is going on with the flame bony. So I think it works really well for that. I think we could have done a better job of showcasing that it was for the trail. But it did get over 100,000 views and that's typically a good benchmark for a video that does really well. So I'm not gonna change that one either. Instant Ice. I, I love this thumbnail. I faded out the arrow to kind of make it show that like this compactor went along the path of where we want the skating trail to be. Shows that Jeremy's pushing it. Yeah, nothing to change there. Ice Trail, this was our first episode of the skating trail this year. It was a different approach to a thumbnail and I actually had a couple different versions but this is the one that Jeremy liked the most and I think we made the right choice because this video has gotten over 300,000 views. Uh, next up was when Jeremy and I played goalie. There's two videos from that. I think the first thumbnail, this one with the arrow, has a bit more going on. It shows that Jeremy just shot the puck. I'm in the net, trying to make a big glove save. This one here also is good, shows a good pose. We made do with what we had. There's not too much I would change. Videos performed well, so Thumbs up there too. Uh, next up, morning skate. Jeremy actually made this thumbnail. Like, ah, oh, this this is great. I'm skating around in my underwear and they'll just put a Canadian flag. There we go. What is Jeremy doing? <laughs> She's off her meds. I'm not gonna criticize Jeremy's work here. <laughs> next up, mountain hockey. This is probably my favorite thumbnail that I've made all year so far and probably all of last year. It shows Jeremy, introduces the character, shows that he's skating, he's got a hockey stick. The way that I, bl I blended the two photos together so that it looks like it's one. It's not that important, but in the past we've done straight hard lines between two different photos and it's kind of distracting from the focal point of the video. Whereas I wanted this to show clearly that there's a mountain, someone's hiking and then they're skating. That's pretty much the summary of that entire video. I do think that the thumbnail helped with this one. So two thumbs up for that one. Oh, and speaking of uh, two thumbs up, I have merch now. Thanks to uh, my mom and my dad. I have a few orders already, haters be hating. This sweater, it's like super soft, so cozy. 
Sometimes I'll put the hood up if I'm chilly. And it's the ideal sweater for just hanging around the house or out on the ODR or even just programming. If you want to sit at the computer and code, it's nice to have a hood sometimes. Throw your headphones on it, just zone right out. If you want to grab that, I got a new website, HaydenHiles.com. And anyone that orders, I'll give a personal video response. So do it. Next is another old paint cans video. With our old paint cans videos, I think the fact that we just have the GoPros on doing something interesting on the ice is enough to draw people's attention because it's an interesting perspective. Also, we don't have a goalie in this game, so it's that's a pretty good uh, thumbnail and title if you ask me. We actually had a game for the old paint cans last night. I'm feeling kind of sore. Speaking of feeling kind of sore, thanks to Recover Fun for sending me this mini massage gun. I've been using it the day after the games in the office here. And I gotta say, I'm not a big massage gun guy, but even Jeremy's massage gun is like massive compared to this thing. Let me pull it out. It comes in a nice box, all neatly organized. It's got different attachments, a flat, the traditional, this one here that really digs deep, which is good. My favorite, is this one here. I don't know what you call it, basic tip. And they just quickly pop in and you're off to the races. Can you even see that? It doesn't even look like it's moving. Yeah, it's wild. It's just kind of pulsating on the screen. That's wild. Anyway, this thing, it works great. I've only had to charge it once so far. Oh, it's good on the chest too. Easy to carry around, easy to manipulate. You can even reach your back with it. If you want to grab one of these, uh, they gave me a coupon code. I'll uh, put the link down below in the description there. Back to editing thumbnails. All right, what's next? Um, oh, California. This was the first of two videos when Jeremy went down to California to skate on that amazing lake. This thumbnail was a, I'd say it was a really interesting idea, but it kind of failed on the execution a little bit. I wanted to kind of showcase that you can skate on a lake in California. So I found a shot of Jeremy picking up sand and dropping it on the beach. And then similar to the thumbnail above, I blended the two photos together to make it look like he's grabbing sand, but he's right by the ice and you can see he's skating away. Where I think this thumbnail fails a little bit is one, Jeremy skating is kind of cockeyed a bit. I know you probably didn't even notice that, but when I look at it, that's the first thing I see. And subconsciously when people see that, they might think that we don't know what we're doing. I don't know. I would definitely fix that. And I also, might find a similar shot to the one above where you can see Jeremy's face. You can see he's got the GoPro and the hockey stick. This is a really cool looking shot of Jeremy skating away, but it doesn't really introduce the characters very well, which is a key thing from what I said at the beginning of the video. So I think this is the next culprit. I'm gonna try and redo this thumbnail. And I think I wanna find a shot of Jeremy hiking, like an interesting looking shot, maybe show like a, a river or some hiking boots or like the lake partially frozen. It'd be nice to find one with his face in it or I can wait for him to step closer. So normally what I do is I'll take a few different photos and then I'll look at them shrunk down and see which one draws my eye more before I take the time to edit it in Lightroom and Photoshop. So I think I'm gonna go with this one, make sure the exposure is set up right. Bring out a bit more detail in the trees. It was a bit underexposed. We'll bring up the whites a little bit, not too much. Don't wanna blow out the sky. The other thing I could do is in Photoshop, I can replace the sky and make it blue. I might play around with that just because that'll add a lot of color to the shot and also imply that it's warm, but he's hiking the mountain until it freezes. So it'll kind of contrast in that way. Let's boost the shadows just a smidge, bump the contrast a little bit, increase the vibrance. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna bring up, warm up the midtones a little bit and I'm gonna darken the shadows. You can see that before and after. This is what it, the original was. This is with the color adjustments. So big difference there. Um, one more thing that I'm gonna do is that subject selection like I did on the last one. And I'll, I'm interested to see if it picks up Jeremy here. So it kind of messed up a little bit. I'm just gonna um, delete that and do it the old fashioned way. And I'm gonna just start painting over Jeremy. See what happens as you paint. We don't, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Increase the clarity a little. Export this into Photoshop. I cut out Jeremy. And this is so that I can outline it again. And you can see the difference that that has. And now what I'm going to do, edit sky replacement. And you can see immediately the sky turned blue. Pretty good, I like that. Okay, and I'll show you what the difference without the sky is. See, especially when it's smaller. White, blue. It's, it's a subtle difference, but those are the details. It's like, oh, blue sky day, he's hiking across the street. Wait, he's going to find hockey rinks? He's going to skate on it? Now I'm going to add some text. Now this is where it gets interesting. A lot of Jeremy and I's times 
are spent deciding what text to put in thumbnails and what title to give a video. Because just as much as the thumbnail itself, the text that you put on it is equally as important. For this, I'm thinking I'll put the text in the top right here, even though it's gonna block our nice beautiful sky that I just replaced. That's not the priority here. It's just all the little details, right? So maybe I'll do like ice in California. I think that could work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. California, question mark. Now that I've got that, I'm going to drag Jeremy above the top immediately. You can see that brings Jeremy to the forefront on the left. There's a lot of rock, which looks cool for in the video, but for the purposes of the thumbnail, I'm gonna crop it probably around like here. Good enough for me. I think views are gonna go through the roof on this. We're getting through here. There's We've done a lot of videos. I'm realizing just how many videos we've done since I've been here. It's been two years worth of videos. It's been quite a lot. And also, if you guys are looking through Jeremy's channel with me right now, let me know. What's your favorite thumbnail? Which one are you going to watch right now? And if you have seen it, which one are you like, oh, I'm gonna go watch that again. That looks like a fun video. The one video that I thought we had a lot more hype built up around and that should have done better than it did was the moving defenseman. We took a car battery and it hooked it up to a bunch of wood and windshield wipers and made a defense of stick that moves around. Like that was a pretty cool idea. We saw it on Instagram and we're like, we have to do this. But when you look at the thumbnail, what's happening? Like I see that I outlined the stick. I can see that I had the arrow. We tried to the goal was to kind of show that the battery is powering the stick. That just gets lost really quickly in your head when you look at this. So this is another thumbnail that I'm gonna go and redo right now. I'm gonna go through all the footage, maybe show us stick handling around it because we have some cool shots of that. With a little bit of clever photoshopping and editing, I should be able to highlight the moving defenseman portion of this more. Right around there. Boost the contrast a bit. Late start for you today, Jer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, redoing a few different thumbnails uh, from your old videos. Nice. All right, so I put about 15 minutes into redoing this thumbnail. I tried to highlight the hockey sticks and the moving defensemen, kind of draw focus to that more as that's like the main character. I think it's about time that we show these to Jeremy and see what he thinks, see if they're worthy of updating. All right, so do you want to see the original side oh, by yeah, side? Side by it? side, for sure. All right, this one, as you were watching, I was doing this one. Mm -hmm. The original harsh line between this photo itself doesn't really do too much yeah. justice. To I the... think, especially when it's uh, small, like the whole left side is just wasted. Like nobody, you can't tell that I'm taking a battery out of a car. It's almost indistinguishable what's yeah. happening, especially yeah. like when you zoom it out. All you can read is moving defenseman. Yeah, it's But that much. doesn't really, the, the picture doesn't really add too much. This to gives it. me some context. I can see, okay, you're in a drive with a vehicle there. We're gonna uh, see, I think the click through rate is what we would measure. Like yeah. within the last month, what was the click through rate like? Yeah. Because maybe it gets recommended less the views might go down, right. but if the click-through rate goes up, then that yeah. means it's done its job. So in a future video, I'll uh, take the screenshots that Jeremy takes of the click-through rate and we'll compare them for these specific videos. And if it does well, then we'll probably do it for more videos yeah. too. Oh. All right, so this was the original. Yeah. Hiking a mountain until the lakes freeze. Yeah. This thumbnail doesn't really support that. Right. We were trying to make like kind of a funny thing like, oh, it's California, there's beach and there's ice, but yeah didn't really hit home, I don't think. Um, but with this, it kind of shows like you're you're hiking up, you got a hockey stick, you can kind of see you've got a toque on, but yeah. like there's no ice formed yet. Yeah. And I really liked the composition of this shot in the video. Yeah, and I think that sort of sets them up. Like that video is more about the hike and, and the search. Yes. And this looks like, you know, we're, we're it's searching. It's more in line with what the context of the video is and it introduces your face sooner too. Yeah. Um, so the third and final one that I did was actually a more recent one. Actually, this will be fun. I'm going to go to the channel. All right. Let's go to the top. There's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like about 10 recent videos on the screen here. Can you guess which one I decided to redo? And Good if you one. pick not the one, I'm gonna be like, angry. you're gonna get angry at me? No, I won't get angry, but I'll be like, God oh, dang, I thought. <laughs> I would think maybe the spray foam goalie because you can't tell that there's ding, really- ding, 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 Yeah, ding, ding, nailed it. <laughs> it's, it's similar to that moving defenseman one and that- There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I did like that pose actually. So what I ended up doing was just using this, oh. that, that shot. Yeah. And like, so highlight the spray foam yeah. more. Right in his... And I like that you're like the reaction you have yeah. and the pose that Duster's in. Like, and then I changed the text to lightest goalie ever yep. to kind of be like, oh, well, what is that stuff that's going to go in there? What's the arrow pointing at? Yeah. Why? why did you... <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be monetized on this channel. <laughs>
I don't know. I think that those should perform a little bit yeah. better. There's three Switch. out of 50 videos in the past yeah. cool. two years. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. I, merch. Yeah. Got merch. Got your merch. Jeremy's going to be... Oh, hey, I got mine. The puck yeah. drop. <laughs> He's got the puck drop <laughs> tee. Go to his, too. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Back to work. Thanks.